And now that we have described some concrete models under the framework of Bayesian deep learning, note that for each of these models, we can actually have different parameter learning scheme. For example, we can use MAP to learn the point estimate of the parameters. We can also use some Bayesian treatment to learn the distributions of the parameter. Of course, Bayesian treatment will be computationally more expensive, but you and and this is particularly true for neural networks. But if we have Bayesian treatment, then it will provide us some extra benefit. For example, it can get us some uncertainty estimation, which is actually very important for problems like reinforcement learning and active learning. And the model will also be more robust in the case of insufficient data and noise. And of course, we can have more accurate pre predictions as well. And I'm, so now I'm going to talk about uh, an efficient lightweight Bayesian treatment that we propose for neural networks and Bayesian deep learning. And we call this method natural parameter networks. Ideally, we want what do we want? Ideally, we want this Bayesian treatment to be solvable via backdrop so that it's efficient enough. And we also want it to be something free because sampling is typically inefficient. And last but not least, we want it to be intuitive and easy to implement. Unfortunately, no previous work can satisfy all these requirements. So what we propose is that we have this idea of like treating the weights and neurons as distributions rather than just numbers or points in the high dimensional space. And we allow these distributions to be forward and backdrop across all these across all these layers. And since these distributions are actually parameterized by natural parameters, we call this framework natural parameter networks. To give you slightly more details, in each layer of the natural parameter networks or NPN, we first directly perform linear transformation on the distributions and map the mean and variance of these distributions for, to the corresponding natural parameters. And then we will perform nonlinear transformations on these distributions parameterized by the natural parameters. And to verify the use of the output variance from the MPN as uncertainty estimate, we actually plot the error versus the variance for each point in the data set. As we can see, larger variance actually indicates larger expected error, which means that the model is less certain about the prediction. And this verifies the use of the variance as uncertainty estimation. And similarly, we look at the MNIST result. As the variance gets larger, the accuracy also gets lower. 